Alright, hello. Right, hello everybody. Welcome to Police Simulator Patrol Officers. Well, kind of update video, guys, because this game had an update on Wednesday the 19th of July 2023. So I do apologise, guys, if I'm a bit late to get any information out on Police Sim, but mm, it's, well, it is, it is what it is. So yeah, that's what we're going to be going through in this uh, video, guys, and I'll also be showing you the new DLC car as well. So yeah, as I say, I'll put my social links down below, guys. I'll put the link to this game down below as well. This game isn't available on Xbox Game Pass, guys. This game is available on, I believe, Xbox, PlayStation, and Steam, as far as I'm aware. But yeah, like I say, guys, I'll put my social links down below and all that. But yeah, my next weekly stream, guys, will be tomorrow on Sunday, the 23rd of July. As I say, it was going to be today, but I've done so much other content on Tramsim by the way if you want to go and have a look at Tramsim guys that's available to look up on my YouTube channel as well so let's get into it and I do apologize guys if there's any FPS or audio problems during this as well and anything else so like I say we will get to the DLC car guys but first let's get into the update information so new features oh yeah and I'll also show you any of the new features as well so yeah, new features, added a garage that is now available at every precinct. The next thing they've added is added optional to repair your patrol car near and inside the garage. They've also added uh, added optional customization the uh, trunk of a patrol car within the garage. They've also added an option to customize the parking lot of the precinct within the garage. And they've also introduced the new compact police car vehicle C CPV, now available as an optional DLC. I will show you that vehicle when we get into the game as well. Okay, car balancing. So they've overhauled physics of all patrol cars to improve steering, braking, controls and more. Right, crash fixes. So they fix a crash that occurred when walking around in holding police set, holding cells with an arrestee. They've also fixed a crash that occurred after loading a saved game. They fixed a crash that occurred after attempting to stop an MP NPV at a traffic stop. So that's all been fixed. Okay, bug fixes, guys. So gameplay. So this is the only bug fix, guys. Fixed uh, getting unjustified CP loss for searching fled npc cars and then also they've done a bug fix corrected detainment reason for suspicious driving behavior oh yeah and there's also bug fixes on multiplayer as well so they fixed a connection loss that happened when entering a patrol car so that's now been fixed okay patrol cars slash traffic car Okay, some more uh, fixes here. So they fixed some issues connecting, connected to license plates and mirrors. Okay, so they f the next one, they fixed a bug that occurred when driving between two MPVs, causing them to either dis despawn or visually change. They've uh, adjusted MPVs to switch their to switch lane before a traffic stop to ensure traffic jams happen in front of them. And they've also adjusted some NPVs models as weird graphical issues happened when they were far away. Okay, so game world. So, widened prison doors so it's no longer possible to get stuck in them uh, anymore, thanks to its Caspel PL. They've also fixed that uh, Bannock Precinct has too many parking spots. That's been fixed. Next thing, guys, slightly moved a parking spot in Callington or Call Callahan. Okay, uh, and next thing, fixed an odd, odd looking black box in the Chesterfield Precinct. And the final thing on that, guys, fixed a bug causing world 
orders it to behave weirdly. Okay, controls. Fixed an issue, causing the left stick to not have any effect anymore after changing a keyboard or reverting to key binding changes. Okay, UI. So, removed car mirror resolution settings entry. Next thing, fixed an issue that caused the give back ID option to stay on screen with no purpose. And the, uh, another thing, fixed an issue that caused the insurance ID to get stuck on the screen. So that's all. So that's literally everything of all the updates. So let's get into the game, guys, and let's show you all the other stuff they've uh, changed, shall we? So yeah, we might as well go on a patrol as well. well. We'll jump into a patrol, but we won't do the patrol. So at least then we can actually get out and do everything else. Okay, thank you. So yeah, we're just going to go on a quick patrol, but we won't do the patrol. So we're just going to start the shift. And then all, well, all we're going to do is walk outside and we'll disable our radio callouts as well. So we don't get bugged by anything. Okay, that's something that needs fixing. When you leave your police desk, if it flicks light, that's something that does need fixing. Uh, we can't grab that door. Okay, Recently, the light. we've been receiving a lot of complaints about cars driving too fast. Maybe you can pay special attention to speeders? Copy that. So for some reason we keep getting light flickers, that needs to be fixed. So yeah, the car, the new vehicle, DLC vehicle is this, the compact vehicle. I say guys, this DLC, which is a DLC, is £2.49 on, well, I think it's £2.49 on Xbox, PlayStation and Steam. So yeah, if you want to grab this car guys, it's, pretty, it's a pretty cheap DLC to be honest. And not being funny, it's actually it's pretty enjoyable to drive because I have driven it a little bit, so as well as all the other cars in this game. So yeah, let's jump in it and have a look at it, shall we? So there we go. Yeah, uh, we'll ignore that. So there's your lights. There's your siren. There we go. Right, is there a garage on this precinct? Oh yeah, while we're here, we'll also have a look at... There we go, here's the interior as well. That's how you can't uh, transport uh, arrestees in this sort of vehicle. No, that's something that can't be done. Okay, so, over here. Okay, so police garage. The, the police garage is accessible by car only and by driving close to the entrance door. Inside the police garage, officers are able to manage the police vehicle's trunk, inventory or change available vehicles. That's really helpful. So yeah, what you can do guys, when you first come up to the garage, so if you want to go in the garage, uh, let me just read the information. So yeah, you've got an option to just enter the garage. You've got an option for quick repair as well. So the quick repair is like this. There we go, we've just quick repaired the vehicle. Now we're going to go back into the garage, so the vehicle reverses back into the garage. So yeah, inside the garage, guys, so you've got parking lot assignments. So, in, in, in parking spot number one, we've got the CPV. In parking spot two, we've got the cruiser. Gladiator, we can unlock. And the panther, we can unlock. So, each vehicle you can unlock. You can also add the UTV, 
you can uh, you can put the cruiser in space number one and then you can go back to the CPV I say the uh, UT hang on let me go back yeah, the UTV is also a DLC, guys. Um, I say I haven't covered that, but I'll cover that in another video. So there we go. But yeah, also, guys, you can organise your trunk. So in the CPV, you can put road flares. You can put traffic cones. And you can also put traffic barriers I say I know it's out grey down guys but that's because on this profile I need to unlock it and then you can have it as empty as well so in each vehicle guys you can put different things in each vehicle mine box uh, I'm not streaming on police sim just to let you know this is just a quick update video to let people know what all the updates are so there we go <clears throat> that is everything guys in uh the new update and the new DLC. So we'll just take for this for a little drive and then that'll be it. Yeah, because I'm not playing this on PC uh, mine. I'm playing this on console and the only way I can do console uh, video recordings is via Twitch. Which is really annoying. Yeah, we don't want to go and get fired. No, it's something we don't want to do. Yeah, we'll ignore that for now. Have I ever streamed it? Yes, I have. Go and, uh, if you want to, go and have a look at my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is available down below. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, uh, thank you. So I'm not sure where my precinct is. Uh, I believe it's over here. Yeah, there we go. I say what I'll do is quick prepare this vehicle as well while I'm here. Yeah, I know it says Munich Tram at uh, mine, but that's because that was my last video stream I just did. That's the reason why it says that. But yeah, like I say, mine. I ain't. I'm not stream. I'm not streaming uh, this game. So, but yeah, there we go, guys. That is everything. I say I'll link the update information down below in the YouTube's. I'll also link this DLC down below as well. Yeah, I'll put my social links down below as well, guys. I'll put a link to this game down below as well. But yeah, there we go, guys. That's everything. I say, I hope you enjoyed this update video. But there we go, guys. That's it from me. I say, my weekly stream, guys, it will be tomorrow. I don't know what we'll be streaming yet. I don't have a clue. But yeah, there we go, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Stay safe, stay happy. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.